dear learner now we'll design our beam so before designing beam we have to understand how load from slab will transfer to beam okay see here a 2s slab actually will get these types of load transferring arrangement which side are long in that side we get a trapezoidal line and another side which side is uh, short where we'll get triangular shape how from that corner you have to take 45 degree angle also 45 degree angle from every side you have to take then uh, you have to take a line here okay and you will get a area like that trapezoidal area here tri a triangular area so uh, let's say we'll design that beam okay we'll design that beam so how we'll design that beam um, to design that beam we need distributed load over that beam so let's say let's go for this calculation previously we know how much distributing load working on it okay if we go here already we know this is the floor finish this is the partitional load this is slab self weight and here is the total load okay total load is 116 psf that means that 116 psf load is working over slab uh for per a square feet now if we multiply if we multiply if we multiply that uh, length okay if we multiply that length sorry uh, uh, i mean if we multiply with that area for our total load here then we'll get load on our beam sorry okay so this is a simple procedure just uh, load per square feet load with multiply i mean uh, for per square feet load we'll uh, multiply with the total area and uh, for that area we'll get total load and this load will be transferred to this beam again for uh, total load for that portion i mean per square feet load for that portion clear for that portion we'll go for uh, multiplication with our that area then we'll also get total load now already we know what is the per square feet load for that portion if we go here that is on on six and now we need something like what is the area so i'll uh, take a trapezoidal shape like that i'll right click here and i'll go for properties and here see its area is 58 square feet so here is the total load in pound that beam will carry clear i'll copy it done okay it's done so uh this and here and what is the value of 15.667 actually we know to design a beam we need the value in per feet okay in linear feet so uh, if we divided the total load with total length then we'll get our value i mean load pound per feet clear in distributed way 
so uh, for that uh, her total length is 15 feet 10 inch but we have to consider from that face to that face so that is 15 feet and 8 inch that's why we will divide that value with 15.667 here copy it 4 to 9.43 done yet and uh, we have another thing this is our that load and with that load, we'll also add partition wall over it. Here we have also a partition wall, right? So uh, if we go to our floor plan, see here we'll get a partition wall here from that point to that point. Let's consider it from that point to that point. This is seven feet and 5 inch let's say 7.5 feet so i'll go to that excel sheet and here our length is 7.5 height of the all it will be let's say uh, 8.5 because we have total height is 10 feet and uh, the some uh, portion will be uh, removed or uh, height will be removed for our beam depth okay top beam depth and thickness 6 inch slab area no need slab area we need just that value 3825 this is the total load 3825 so i'll use calculator 3825 divided by 15.667 that is that is the value That's it. Now we'll take total load. Copy it. That is six seven like that. Done. And same for live load. Okay. Thirty into fifty-eight, and we'll divide it that. Okay, let's say, let's take a copy. Done. So now we'll go for cantilever portion. For cantilever portion, what we'll do? What will be our total load actually? So uh, in our previous lecture, we have seen that. Okay, here the total load is fifty two psf. You know, as per previous lecture, uh, for partitional load fifty two. So our total load will be fifty two plus. Floor finish 18.5 plus self weight 62.5. It's 133. Clear? 133. And uh, we'll multiply that with 58. Sorry, not 58. Uh, now we have to take area of that portion here come here and if you come here right click okay uh you may told me how we'll take that area 
so to take that area uh, from here select polyline and from here simply draw as your boundary see you'll get a portion like that i'm deleting again i'll get a portion like that now i'll right click i'll go for properties and here this area is 51 so Six, seven, eight, three. And divided by fifteen point six six seven. Okay, now no need to calculate for partitional cause already the partitional over beam we have calculated here for live load three zero divided by done this is for our uh, beam one that means if we consider this one for beam one and same way same way you have to calculate for this one okay as they have no partitional so no need to calculate for partitional load self weight and floor finish and here we'll get partition all as per our uh, floor plan c we have a partitional from that point to that point then we have all here we have to calculate it that value of this all also and they have no partitional here now uh, after that you have to uh, multiply that value with this triangle and then we'll uh, consider that area of that slab In the same way this area is sorry area is 27 and its area is 28 that's it in this way you have to also consider this set value now I, I, i'm uh, just considering the load for our b2 here our load for b2 i'm considering that one th this load actually okay so when we are here when we are here now we have to calculate it calculate another, another load that is self weight of beam okay self weight of beam so here i have calculated that let's say our beam width is beam width is 10 feet and our beam depth is 15 inch okay so uh, simply i have uh, divided that uh, value with 12 and also divided by 12 into 150 you also you know that how uh, we can calculate that that uh, load actually okay so uh, actually this is the cross section and uh, for on fit so uh, providing one or multiplying with one is uh, uh, will not change anything actually that's why we did, uh, did not add it here so here our total load is here now what we'll do our all load is available here for slab on this is our total dead load will uh, sum this one and this one for dead load and this one and this one for live load okay same as for b2 uh, in our in my previous lecture i have calculated uh, for b2 at a time so see uh, we are now ready to design our beam using slab i think um, I actually if you think you have any confusion here so you may ask me i'll try to answer you as soon as possible thank you thank you very much